Now, on Saturday, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi decided she wanted to punch left after being called out for basically writing a blank check to Donald Trump on the border. Uh, now, uh, Pelosi, in an interview uh, with Maureen Dowd, said this, quote, All these people have their public whatever and their Twitter world. Now, she was referring to, of course, uh, the squad uh, over four Democratic women, including AOC, Elhan Omar, Ayanna Presley, uh, etc. Uh, now, she continued saying, quote, but they didn't have any following. They're four people, and that's how many votes they got. Now, obvious condescension is obvious. I mean, there are only four people they ended up getting four votes. Actually, there was a lot more votes for the House version uh, of that bill that actually put in some controls on how the administration spent the money uh, on migrant detention. And a lot of that money was supposed to be spent on improving the conditions in these uh, migrant camps, right? Uh, now, in response, Open Markets Institute fellow Matt Stoller explained how he saw the situation. He said, quote, this is a bet by Pelosi that AOC is wrong and that the Trump administration will do the right thing on the border with the money that Congress just appropriated. Not a bit I'd make, but okay. Now, when that happened, uh, AOC, of course, called that out. And I said, look, you'd have to be mental to give a blank check to the administration be whose uh, cruelty is the point. The whole point is to make conditions as um, uh, deplorable as possible in order to make sure that people don't come here. They hear about the conditions in their home countries where they're currently being murdered uh, or forced into drug gangs and think, oh, no, America's going to lock up our, our, our kids and separate us uh, from our families. Okay, and, and that has done nothing to actually slow immigration. In fact, we're now at a 13-year uh, high of people coming over the border. A lot of them, of course, are claiming asylum. Uh, so now, when you look at it, again, why would you hand Donald Trump a blank check? It, ridiculous, right? I mean, but that's what Pelosi had done. Uh, and look, I reported because it was mainly because of centrist Democrats. Uh, now, they basically handed away, uh, handed any uh, leverage they had over to Mitch McConnell. They preemptively surrendered to Republicans in the Senate. I mean, that's what they do, though. That, that's what centrist Democrats do the best, is that they preemptively surrender to the Republicans. Great. Uh, now, following this whole thing, AOC said this, quote, I don't believe it was a good idea for Dems to blindly trust the Trump administration when so many kids have died in their custody. It's up to, what, 10 now? 11? It's a huge mistake, she said. So was she correct? Well, now we have new data which shows that, yes, she is correct. Mother Jones has just learned that ICE has started using three new for-profit immigration detention centers in the Deep South. They used some of that money, I'm assuming, to open those new detention centers. Congratulations. Uh, interviews with lawyers and prison officials and ICE records revealed that the agency has begun to, uh, detaining uh, migrants at the Adams County Correctional Center. That is a Mississippi prison operated by CoreCivic, the Catahoula Correction Center, a Louisiana jail run by LaSalle Corrections, and one South Loser, uh, Louisiana Ice Processing Center run by Geo Group in Basile, Louisiana. Of course. Mississippi, Louisiana. That's where they're keeping a lot of these migrants now. I bet you recognize some of those names. Yeah, Core Civic, Geo Group, those are for profit prisons. Now, why are we sticking migrants who have not committed any crimes, by the way, as seeking asylum is completely legal, in prison as if they are common prisoners? And why did the Democrats? Just give a blank check to Republicans in order to do this. <laughs> I mean, look, Congress had mandated that ICE reduce the prison population back in February, right? Or, uh, you know, the, the migrant population. Instead, according to reports, ICE pushed its detention population to an all-time high of about 54, 
5,000 people, up from about 34,000 on an average day in 2016, and well above the 40,520 target Congress set for ICE. So ICE basically, under orders from Congress, decided not to follow those orders and to detain even more migrants. We said that was going to happen without any sort of provisions to prevent this, without any sort of, you know, controls here uh, and how we treat migrants. Instead of improving the conditions in these places, they just open up new facilities and shove them in there. Well, hey, look, we're solving the problem. You said there was overcrowding at these uh, concentration camps, so we'll take them out of this camp and put them into another camp. That's not solving the problem. That's actually just moving the problem and then making it worse. Uh, now, Sarah Pierce, policy analyst for the Nonpartisan Migration Policy Institute, said it was unclear where ICE was getting this money. And here's another thing, right? So now, this money is basically uh, earmarked for improving the situation of migrants, right? But without any sort of controls, we don't know exactly where it's going, what it's being used for, or if it's being used for what we're saying, uh, what we're being told it's being used for. And ICE appears to just not even need funding at this point. They're operating without being granted more money. Where are they getting that money from? Of course, they're getting that money from that, from, from what Congress had appropriated for other things, other things. Congress made a point of not giving ICE additional money uh, for detention centers, but they're getting it somehow. And that's what happens when you appropriate money within any, without any sort of safeguards. It just, that's what happens. And you had Nancy Pelosi and the uh, centrist Democrats that trusted the Republicans to do the right thing. I mean, isn't that amazing? That led AOC to basically do a big told you so on Twitter. Uh, she said, quote, DHS and ICE, responding to this report, are flagrantly violating congressional orders, just as we said they would. Yet, it was Ilhan Omar, Ayanna Presley, and Rashida Tlaib, and I that were wrong to oppose throwing more money to abusive agencies. Right? Well, I mean, come on, AOC, you are not a master legislator like Nancy Pelosi. Didn't you know that getting things done involves giving Republicans everything that they want despite having all the leverage yourself? That is why Nancy Pelosi, I guess, makes the big bucks. Oh, literally, she, makes, she does make the big bucks. I think she's a multi-millionaire. Uh, this is your Democratic Party leadership, by the way. They immediately fold the Republicans. They just do, like a cheap suit. You give them a blank check, um, and they wonder how the Republicans could act in such bad faith. I mean, we gave you everything that you wanted. Why are you doing the thing that we told you not to do, even though we made sure to not put in any safeguards to make sure that you do the thing that we tell you to do? The Republican Party is nothing but bad faith, bad faith actors. That's what they do. And for them, of course, the cruelty is the point. Uh, and by the way, these centers, uh, when they were prisons, uh, have been known to house people in horrific conditions. For example, inside the Adams County Prison, there were complaints by the inmates about inadequate medical care, staff mistreatment, and even rotten food. They, just, they would serve rotten food to inmates. It got so bad in 2012 that there ended up being a prison riot where several inmates were killed, as well as one prison guard. Now, look, I, I know prison's not supposed to be vacation, guys. Unless, of course, you're Jeffrey Epstein. Uh, but people have a right to basic uh, rights, like medical care and food, even if you're a prisoner. In fact, the whole, isn't the whole purpose of prison to be for rehabilitation so that they can in be introduced back into society as a productive member? Well, apparently when guards treat you like animals and garbage and filth, well, look, how does that help rehabilitation? It doesn't, but that, of course, leads into a bigger conversation about uh, how we treat our prisoners, which is basically, compared to some of the other countries in the world,
barbaric. Um, but it does help these private prison corporations uh, make a lot of profit. In fact, uh, the Justice Department, by the way, said that it would stop using that prison back in May, um, which ICE, of course, has uh, filled the void, and ICE makes money off uh, detaining migrants. That's the thing that you have to understand above all else. Not only is the cruelty the point here from Republicans, but also their donors will make a lot of money from detaining these kids, these families. Anybody who didn't see this coming, Nancy Pelosi, uh, is blind to that fact. The cruelty is the point, and if their donors make an extra buck on top of that cruelty, well, that is a win-win for everyone uh, who is involved who is not a migrant. Once again, Democratic leadership is wrong, and again, they enable Republicans to continue their cruelty. Isn't it time that we replace Nancy Pelosi with a real leader? With somebody who will actually fight? I think it is. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc. We're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYTNation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.